Ever read audio product specs and the terms Class A, Class AB, Class D, and others come up? If you're like me, you have no idea what any of that means. After you watch this video, you will. The job of an amplifier is to amplify an electrical signal. Guitar amps and microphone preamps are types of amplifiers. It's called a preamp because it's the amplifier before the speaker amplifier. A preamp drives microphone and instrument level signals to line level. A powered amp, or PA for short, drives line level signals to speaker level. There's always a trade-off between power efficiency, signal gain, and linearity. This video is designed to give the basic foundational differences between the various amplifier classifications and not to go into too much detail. The different classifications of amplifiers have to do with delivering maximum alternating current power, or AC for short, to the load, all the while consuming the minimum DC or direct current power possible from the supply. This is known as the conversion efficiency of an amplifier. Class A is the simplest and most common type of amplifier. Power output is conducting 100% of the time, so it can get hot to the touch with high power devices. Class A offers the least amount of power efficiency, less than 30%, but also the least amount of distortion. That's because there is no possibility of crossover or switch-off distortion. In terms of linear amplification, it's the most ideal. In other words, it has the purest signal. Some microphone preamps that use a Class A design include the Neve 1073 and Audient. Class B, also called a push-pull configuration, conducts power around half the time as Class A. It is 70% power efficient, but has nasty sounding crossover distortion. There's a highly technical reason for why this happens. For those who are curious, I have links to sources in the video description. Class AB, in simple terms, adds biasing diodes to the Class B chain, and therefore Class AB is the result. It's the best of both worlds. It's more power efficient than Class A, and there's a lot less crossover distortion than Class B. Most guitar amplifiers are Class AB. The API 312 preamp and the headphone amplifier in my Audion ID14 audio interface is a Class AB design. Class D uses output transistors, so they are solid state devices. This allows for more portability, including the ability to run off of battery power. And finally, Class H is a solid state amplifier. As power demand goes up, the voltage rises. It is highly efficient and lightweight. There are probably other classes out there that I didn't talk about, so like I said, Go ahead and look this information up for yourself, but that's the basic foundation. So anytime you hear about Class A or Class AB, Class D, you know exactly what they're talking about, and you know that Class A isn't necessarily the best. It's just one classification of getting the job done. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.